It's a great day for hockey cards, and today we're going to take a look at some mail. Uh, you'll notice that this video is coming out on Sunday. I don't normally do Sunday releases, but I might do a few here and there uh, just because, you know, if, I figure if I want to change something up and do something outside of opening up boxes, I'll stick it on a Sunday. Um, I might be opening some Star Trek cards because people request that, So, and I'll stick those on a Sunday. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday will still be reserved for hockey breaks, and if you don't care about that other stuff, you can just skip over whatever I put out on a Sunday. Um, it's not going to be every Sunday, maybe once a month, so just so you know. Uh, this first one, I actually started this video once already. Um, this package contained a note, uh, and I started reading it, and it had some colorful language in it and the guy's address that I missed, so I don't want to, uh, I don't want to put that out here because I know that the kid's some younger folks watch this, um, and I don't want to soil their minds. So, but he wrote me a really long letter basically saying uh, he used to collect, he started collecting again. He subscribed to me around the 600 mark, which is seems like so long ago. Uh, this actually came in October. Um, this is from Jeremy. So thank you, Jeremy. Um, I will reply back to you. Um, but he sent us a couple cards here. Uh, we've got a Nikolai Borshevsky Young Guns card. This is this is like my heyday of collecting, really. We've got an Adam Oates. So these were cards that Upper Deck had. Um, it had the little Q and A on the back, and then it had like they look like bizarre pictures now, but it was supposed to portray like what they enjoy uh, outside of hockey. Loving the Chucks, by the way, Mr. Oates. Uh, Paul Correa from the World Juniors. I believe that's his rookie card. And Pat Falloon, rookie report from the Sharks. So thank you, Jeremy, for those. Uh, I will be replying back to you, I promise. Uh, our next package here is from Upper Deck. So this is either a redemption or quite possibly it's something for something they missed. It looks like it's a redemption because normally the other ones have a letter in it. This does not. This is an artifacts redemption. We have Emil Bemstrom number to 999 from 1920. Artifacts. Emil Bemstrom. There you go. And our last package it's a bigger one from Jeff Smith in Toronto. So we're gonna break into this. So I saw, I, I usually open all the mail in the or, in order that I receive it because I just figured that that's the fairest way to do it. Um, wow, there is a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, no note. No note in there. Uh, okay. Uh, but I saw that this one was really big, uh, and this also came in the same time frame as those, but I skipped it ahead of two smaller packages just because, you know, I don't want to... I don't like to make these mail videos too, too long, even though sometimes they get out of control long. Uh, he sent me, like, all kinds of stuff. Um, so let's just get right into it. And thank you, Jeff. Um... Say, say hi in the comments or something. I, I, you didn't leave me a note, so I don't know anything else about this package. Yeah, no note. So I got some old cards here. We got 7475 penalty minute leaders. Dave Schultz, Andre DuPont, and Phil Russell. I love the uh, the vintage cards, even even if they're not in great shape. I actually I got something pretty cool coming up uh, as far as pack breaks. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to squeeze that in, and a neat story behind that as well. So we've got a clear cut phenoms from Timmy's of pasta. We've got Zdeno Chara. It's unbelievable that he's still playing. Casey Middlestat, who really started to pick it up at the end of the year. Dylan Sakura, rookie commence. We've got a Patrick Kane portrait from 1617. Coochie Boochies, uh, Nikita Kucherov, goalie nightmare. Johnny Goudreau, shining stars, I think that's 1718. A Jonathan Taves portrait. 
Another shining stars of Henrik Zetterberg. We've got a Sean Monahan, shining stars. Scotty Hartnell, numbered out of 55 for artifacts. My one buddy always calls him a Muppet, because when he gets into scrums and his helmet pops off, he's got, like, Muppet hair. <laughs> he's got, like, this giant fro. Uh, we've got Epic Score, Ray Bork. What is this from? Pacific. Pacific made some nifty-looking cards. We've got a Henrik Zetterberg canvas. That's from 1617. An Iggy canvas. Philip Forsberg. We've got Johnny Goudreau taping the stick. Nathan Horton. Let me do this like this. We've got Patrick Kane. Uh, the Black, which I think is a variation. We've got Panini Certified Eric Carlson, Certified Stars, numbered out of $9.99. A Gary Younger Blues card. When's that from? $71.72. Look at that. People, people complain about quality control now. Look at, look, look at how not well that is centered. But that's really cool. It's interesting that he doesn't have a logo on his jersey. I wonder what the, the story is behind that, if anybody knows. Unless maybe he was playing for the Red Wings and he got traded. And they decided to take the logo off, but I don't know. Name on the front, Joe Sackick. That is from SPX. We've got a Mike Medano, Centennial standout. Adam Oates in the game used. Doug Harvey. I think this is a Parkhurst reprint, right? A really cool card. There's Mike Bossy, one of my favorite players, non-Penguin. Uh, sets the hat trick mark. There's Eric Carlson, Black Diamond, little tape on that. Gustav Nyquist, it's not on the card, it's on the holder. Another Henrik Zetterberg. We've got Overtime, Pavel Zaka. None of the card shops, when I go to them around me, hand out Overtime packs. What is up with that? got Vladimir Tarasenko and Brent Burns portraits. We've got Daniel Sedin. We've got a high voltage of Pierre Turgeon out of 199. What is this from? This looks like another Pacific card. Vanguard. Jamie McCowan for the Flames. And that is 84, 85. These are, these are before my time, so I don't know the years on these. Look at Ray Bork there. Look at that mustache. All-star card. Joe Sackick be a player. And a Jonathan Hoobie Dooby Dooberdo. Shining Stars Blue. And then we've got another package here. Like, there's just... I can't believe the amount of stuff you sent. <laughs> thank you. Thank you again. I really appreciate it. So we've got a Zach Parise. Premier Patch. 24-25. Three-color. Look at that. That's amazing. I love, I've really started collecting um, unique patches. I should show the stuff. I, I never show the stuff that I buy. Um, I've really started collecting unique patches. Autographs have gotten super expensive, and I just, I'm always looking for really cool patches. So, so that's kind of neat. A David Backus patch, 12 of 25. That's, there's a four color. That's really nice. Jordan Eberly. Another out of 25 when he played for the Oilers. Another sweet patch there. And the, the, the next package. These are just all amazing. Thank you, Jeff. We've got a playoff performer, Jerome McGinn. These are all playoff performers cards from 0506 Upper Deck. Yeah. Martin St. Louis. These are really nice looking cards. I've never seen these before. Peter Forsberg. Wayne Gretzky. There's Iggy. Joe Sackick. And, of course, Mario Lemieux. These are all really well packed, too. So, that's also appreciated. 
AOPG Premier Remnants, Jason Arnett out of 35. Look at that. That is a pretty sick patch there. And here's another one. Wow. Dustin Brown out of 25. Which is also a really cool looking patch. Let's get into the next package. Like, this is all some really cool stuff. There's Trevor Carrick, Young Gun. We've got Tommy Kunako, Young Gun, former Penn, of course, because he's a Penguin on there. We've got an Artifacts Rookie of Oliver Bjorkstrand. A JT Comfer. Um, bleh, rookie Premier out of Trilogy. We've got a Rick Nash. Um, Silver Zero Breaks has a specific name for him. Uh, I won't say it on here, but go check out his channel. Exclusives out of 100. There's a Sasha Barkov out of 100. Exclusives. A Sam Bennett rookie. And Joe Thornton Pacific out of 199. I like this. Thanks again, Jeff. Like <laughs> this is this is too much. Yeah, here we've got a Patrice Bergeron exquisite out of one forty nine. Oh, and this is oh, we got some baseball. I don't know these people, so Back to the Future. Oh, these are. Uh... Pirates. Stetson Ali, maybe? I gotta tell you, the uh, ownership group for the Pirates has kind of killed my enthusiasm for baseball. I used to be a big baseball fan, and uh, I really haven't paid attention to hardly any of it in like 20 years, just because I'm so disgusted with the state of things in Pittsburgh. Uh, extra edition, we've got an Angelo Songko for the Dodgers. 7 of 50. He's got a really nice signature. We've got a Chris Reed for LA. Maybe I'll make LA my team from now on. Maybe I'll get back into watching baseball, watch some Dodgers. Just because he sent me two Dodgers. We've got Jordan Schrader. Silhouette from Crown Royale. Otto. Once again, another really cool patch. And our final, final bit of magic from Jeff. We've got a Justin Bailey Cup RPA, 149 out of 249. Once again, just really nice patch on there. And a Brock McGinn, another cup RPA. And finally, another Premier out of 25. We've got Ryan Kessler. Really cool. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, everyone who sent me stuff. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you ever want to send me something, the... Uh, my address is in the description of the video, below the video. Um, no need to send me stuff. Uh, if you do, try and include a note. Uh, let me know how you found the channel and, and what you like about it. I really like to, to read the notes, except when they've got curse words in them. But we didn't put that in the video, so we're okay. But uh, thank you for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.